Hello, in this video tutorial you learn what a while loop is and how you can use it in Python. Essentially all loops allow you to perform the same operations over and over again. The block of code following a while statement is executed until a given condition does not hold true anymore. A nice first example is to calculate how many full years it takes until an investment goal is reached. This is our initial investment, 3000 euros. The goal is set to 4000 euros and the interest rate is 4%. I define the number of years with zero, so we start out with no time passed. And this is the while loop. While the amount of money we have is less than our investment goal, this computation is repeated over and over and over again. We increment the number of years and increase the total amount of money we have with the interest we get per year. I will execute this once, python3 investment.py and our investment goal is reached after 8 years. To see how this works, let's look at it in, an, in a debugger. BUDB. So we can execute now step by step the commands we've seen. We define the amount. We can see the values of the variables here on the right side. The goal and the interest. They are uppercase because they are supposed to be constant and not changed during the execution of this program. And the number of years is initialized to zero. So the amount is 3000, the goal is 4000, so obviously the amount is less than the goal. So the condition amount is less than goal holds true and the loop executes. We increment the number of years, it goes up to one year, and after one year the amount of money we have is 3120. 3120 is still less than our investment goal of 4000, so the loop will execute again, because amount is less than goal. After an additional year, after two years, we have 3,244 euros. This is still less than 4,000, so this condition still holds true. And we execute the loop again, and again, and again, and again, until we reach our investment goal. Now, after eight years, the amount is 4,105 euros and a little bit more, which is clearly more than 4,000 euros. So amount is less than goal does not hold true anymore and the while loop terminates and we continue executing the print statement down here and the program terminates with you'll reach your investment goal after eight years. You may have heard that other programming languages offer a so-called do loop which is essentially a while loop that executes at least once. Python does not offer such a statement but let's look at a use case and how we can simulate the do loop in Python. Assume we want to read some input and verify that the input uh, does fulfill a given, uh, uh, a given range we, we need. So we want the user to enter an integer number and the number needs to be more than zero or equal to be zero and to be less than or equal 100. So what we do is we ask the user for input, enter an integer to be between zero and 100 and then we read the integer. And we verify that input using a while loop saying while the integer is either less than the minimum or more than the maximum, repeat the above and ask the user again to enter new integer. And this here int of text converts the, the string that the user entered into an actual integer number. If the user now entered a valid number, the program terminates. If the user didn't do that, the program runs again and again. Let's execute this for once. I clear my console using Control L and type python3 investment.python uh, input validation.python and I enter minus 5 and the program asks me again. So now we're in the while loop and I enter 103 and it asks me again and now I enter 47 and the program will terminate because 47 is less, not less than the minimum and not more than the maximum. And that's fine. The issue here is that we have a duplication of code. We 
have the code here, again here. And all duplication of code is essentially a maintenance hassle and will be prone to bugs in the future. So I remove this and I now want to make sure that this while loop here is executed at least once. I can do this by saying while true, that means do this forever, and at the end of the while loop say if we have a valid integer, that means if minimum is less than or equal our integer and the integer is less than or equal maximum, then we want to break. Break means jump out of the innermost loop, in this case this while loop here. We can test this with the same input data. So I enter minus 5, I enter 103, and at 47 the loop will terminate. If you don't like the while true here, there's another option. You could uh, say while the condition we had beforehand, I undo my changes here. While this condition here holds true and simply define integer beforehand to a value such that this condition will hold true. So I can say integer equals minimum minus one. So the condition integer is less than minimum is immediately true and the loop will execute once. Let's look at this again. Same input data, minus 5, and it will ask again 103. It will ask again and 47. And now the loop terminates. It's essentially a matter of taste. Whether you prefer a while true with a if condition at the end and a break statement or simply to initialize a variable such that the condition here will hold true for the first time the loop executes. I hope this screencast has made it easier for you to understand and use Python's while loop. Thanks.